Happy Saturday, my Heavenly Heart Squad. Um, I wanted to do an unboxing of this box that I received from Marker Universe. I found out about them from a fellow card maker. Her name is the Frolicky Fairy. Um, follow her on Instagram because her cards are beautiful. And they actually do a blind box every month. And so when they do the blind box, um, they have this card included. The September blind box is here. The challenge is to create using only what is provided in the box. You can use some or all of the items, but try not to use anything else. Um, tag, us, tag us or use hashtag MU blind box so we can share and feature your amazing work. Um, always swatch and test your products. So I wanted to do an unboxing of it because this is my first one. Um, I opened the box, but I actually don't know what's inside. So I'd like to definitely share that with y'all. So it actually came with this cute little sticker and it has the website on there, markinguniverse.com. And it's actually holographic. So I need to find somewhere to put this because I really love holo stickers. And it came with this little booklet telling you about different markers that they have, that they're featuring, the colors they have. So let's see what we actually have in here. Let me just pull them all out. I think it'll be easier. Let me move the box out of the way. Okay, so we have the looks like graphite, or maybe they pronounce it graphite, I'm not sure. Um, it has a brush nib, and it also has oh a fine nib so you can write with it. I don't know if you can see that. It's really small. And then, so they gave you three colors. I guess it's so you can do your blending. It's 9504, 9507, and 9403. And they also included this permapake. So it tells me this is more like an opaque marker. Let's open it and see. Ooh, this sucker's hard. Oh, it's a chisel tip. Let me see that. And what else? This is Poster Man. It says a wet erasable marker for chalkboards, windows, mirrors, and ceramics. I have a, it was from Kurataki. So I have a few of these, but different brands. Oh, these are my favorite Pigma, Pigma Micron. So this is a size 03. And I actually have them, about eight of them going from 0 .005 up to point, I mean not point, up to 08. And this is, says Kira Arena. Let's see what this is. Okay. It's a bullet point if you can see it there. Let us see what this one is. Oh, it's another Cure Arena. What's interesting about these is they say that they're oil-based, so I've never actually tried an oil-based marker before, so this will be exciting to try. And then you actually got ooh, some lettering markers. And they're by Zig. Let's look at it. Okay, so this is like the standard small tip lettering marker. Let's see what other sizes they included in here. We have the, oh, this is a large brush tip. This is, so I guess the rest of these are all large and that one was smaller yeah this is a larger one and then lastly this one here okay so 
that's all that came in the package so i actually have a sheet of marker paper here that i want to swatch some of them out on just so you can kind of get an idea so these are oil based so i don't know how they'll work out on the marker but let's see I like the way these write. They write really, really smooth. So these are the two oil base. Let me write with this one also. I'm writing Queen because my Instagram name is Queen Kimmy. The Pigma Micron, I always love these. So this one, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can meet with this one. Oh, it says it's a pigment marker. Okay. So now. Well, this is a really light gray if you can see that here's a look of how it comes out on there and then we have this one so it's a darker gray but it actually looks like the color might be black but it's a darker gray and then the other one that we have here is sorry I keep bumping into my camera so it's another gray one um, but in between the dark gray and the light gray up top and then this one I'm not gonna swatch because it's not made for the paper but I do want to give these a try. Okay, so I've been practicing my lettering, but I'm not perfect at it, so bear with me. So this was the fine tip brush. And then I'll do purple. And this one is the large tip. So I'm actually better with small tips than I am with large tips, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so I really like these um, lettering pens. Ooh, this is water-based. So it's interesting how it came out on this paper because this paper is for markers. Uh, not markers, I'm sorry. Alcohol-based. So, but this is it. Everything that came into the box. It's my first box and I'm really impressed. I like that. I like it because you don't know what you're going to get and it's allowing you to try a bunch of different markers to see if maybe there's a different marker you'd like to go with using. So, thank you for watching. Um, this is going to go up on Instagram and YouTube. And on YouTube, if you like the video, um, hit that like button, uh, leave a comment, and also consider subscribing. Um, 
Instagram, you can consider following me and also liking the photo. If you have any questions, just post them and I'll definitely go in and answer. Um, my heavenly heart lovers, have a happy Saturday.